Hey guys, and welcome back. My name is Drake Chronic, and we are back on the Pixelmon server, not the server, the world, Pixelmon world. We got, uh, we got an update on the Pixelmon, um, it's in 3.2 right now, which is awesome, but something really sucks about that update. Um, they, they fixed most of the bugs that made it unplayable, so they, so that we can, we can actually continue on with this, uh, with this world. We don't have to revert back to 1.6 before. But honestly, we might actually want to just because the frame rate in this update somehow they they through fixing stuff screwed up the frame rate. And I used to get like 200 frames per second when they updated it the first time to 1.7.2. And now that they went through another update, fixed all the bugs, and updated it to 1.7.10, uh, frame rate dropped drastically. It used to be 200 frames per second pretty easily getting over at least 150 and now I get like 70 and probably probably like 60 now that I'm recording probably it's it's horrible I don't know what's going on but it's pretty bad I have Optifine installed as well to try to it gives me a little bit of a boost but not not too much but it seems to be going good just just because I've loaded all the chunks around here so that way um it's kind of smooth frames right now but once we get training and we go to different areas it's gonna get uh, it's gonna get pretty laggy so I apologize for that first of all I'm sorry I can't really do anything about that I've tried I've reset basically every setting to the minimum and still cannot t cannot get that 150 frames per second that I used to I can get it with uh, the other modded survival but I can't get it with this one it's it's weird. Pixelmon, I think it's Pixelmon. Might be custom NPCs actually, because that adds a lot of different items. But I think it's Pixelmon that's causing it the frames to drop horribly. But that's okay. So, anyways, last week I'm sorry about the videos. There wasn't that many. But getting back into it, it was vacation. It was also my birthday on the 17th, which was a, which was last Thursday. And yeah, a lot of stuff happened. A lot of crazy things happened, and I was really really busy. I was only able to record once, so I'm really sorry about that, but, uh, yeah, we're going to get back into it. So, going to be training today, yeah, if you notice, it's weird, because there's, like, no fog at night, and you can't see the, can't see where the sun's at, because I turned that off in Optifine, so it's going to look kind of weird a little bit. Um, the trees, I kept it fancy graphics, just because, uh, I don't like fancy graphics trees, but some people do, so I put them there just to up the quality just a little bit but uh, most everything else is set on the lowest setting just because the frame rate I don't know what is up with Pixelmon but the frame rate just makes it drop horribly it's, oh they, see lag spikes right there oh starting out with a score score pie um, I don't know do we we can level up now so we gotta make sure we enable leveling on Kurt at least because Kurt's gonna be able to kill him there we go 65. I'm gonna earthquake him. Probably kill him one hit. Nope, two hits. Two hits. Gonna take two hits. Dead. Leaf stone and awakening. Yes. And now it. Um, I checked the pokey chest visibility, so I so I turned the most of the animations off to try to up the frame rate as well, all except for the one that lets us see pokey chest. So I I edited a lot of settings and still can't get it completely perfect. I mean. Look at the frames right now. Actually, whoa. Those are actually doing pretty... Holy crap, we're at 108. What? Okay, I guess after you run it for a while, it seems it starts doing good. So, just strike what I said. But still, it's it's a little bit a little bit more diminished than it was before. Used to get 150 to 200. Now we're getting 108, which is actually, I think, the highest I've seen it. And I'm recording, too. Well, I wasn't recording. It was getting, like, 70, 80. That's crazy. Got this Drapion over here. I'm gonna take him out with Kurt. He's pretty high leveled. And we're gonna take him out. We got some XP. Let's see, let's make sure everybody is, he's enabled leveling. You can't go scrolling through, it won't let you do that like this. It, uh, the little leveling thing that I'm hovering over right now, it, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't show up the, cor the correct way. See, because he wasn't actually enabled for leveling, but it said he was when I scrolled through. So we got to enable leveling on all these guys, and then start training them up like that. And uh, maybe we'll try try the 
the Elite Four again. Revives should actually work now. You can't use them outside the battle, though, so that'd be... That sucks, but you can use them in battle, so we're going to have to buy a lot of max revives, basically, to be able to use them in battle and make them worth our while. So, is that another Drapion? That's a small Drapion. Awesome. Awesome. Also notice that a lot of different, like, the they, they redid the spawning thing, I think, just because they set it to 1.7.2, so the spawns are a little different now. Not much different, but I have noticed a lot more higher level ones spawning. A lot of Drapions. Look at that, another Drapion. Yeah, a lot of Drapions are spawning at night in the desert. They never used to. So this is going to be awesome for training. Just awesome. Okay. Yeah, there are some glitches where I'll say Pixelmon dot, uh, dot, uh, Drapion dot name has been killed, or you're fighting uh, trainer dot name dot name. So a couple of those but those are really really minor issues so they shouldn't shouldn't mess with anything we have they'll just be weird when we fight the gym leaders because some of their names are really screwed up but uh, or not the gym leaders the elite four already fought the gym leaders what is that venomoth venomoth Ooh, are you a boss mm, nope your antennas are just usually that blue i thought he was a blue boss dang it dang it i thought we found a blue boss but uh, yeah, really excited to get back on the Pixelmon. It's been a while, and been trying to follow their um, their website really, really closely for an update, and trying every single update they put out to see if it was uh, playable. And this is the first one that actually is, so I'm really excited. And uh, they're they're working on. They said they're going to try to get uh, updates out pretty regularly now, which uh, regularly. I think means like once every two months or a month or two or so. So not extremely regularly like Minecraft, how they put up updates, but uh, pretty regularly. And they have a thing, if you go on their website right now, you can vote for um, their next, uh, what what you want want in the next one. They have three different cho choices, uh, C dot line, so C dot nuz Nuzleaf and Shiftry, um, the uh, Ryolu line, which is Ryolu and uh, Lucario, and the, um, uh, what is that? Oh, crap. Poochiana. Yeah, Poochiana line, which is Poochiana and Mightyena. And I'm a big, I'm a big Mightyena fi fan, but I like Lucario a lot more. But it would be nice to have more dark types in here. Sableye is a dark type, but there's not many dark types in here. There's Sableye, Drapion, and off the top of my head, I can't think of much else. Oh, Bisharp. And of course, all their evos and pre evos, but there's not much. So I think that would be better than because we have a bunch of steel types in here. You got the whole Metagross line. You got the whole Bisharp line again. You got the whole uh, Agron line. You got the whole Magnazone line. You got there's a lot of steel types. So I don't think we need much more steel types. But he is also fighting type, and there's not many of them. So Lucario is what I'm talking about. Because I kind of didn't specify, I just kind of went on a rampage just talking about it. Okay, so let's take out some uh, Sea Kings. I did, um, I had a world set up where I changed a bunch of stuff, and when I went to load it today, a lot of the things changed. It wiped out all my, uh, I'm in creative right now. Why am I in creative? Because I was testing out the, uh, the Poke Chests. Oops, didn't mean to do that. I was testing out to make sure I could see see them. Um, but yeah, my my items got deleted. All my items and ender chests and everything got deleted. But the shops didn't get deleted, so that's that was weird. But um, yeah, so it screwed that up. So I had to uh, I do do regularly back this up. So had to just quickly go back on it. That's really weird co colored sugarcane. Is this supposed to be that color? I think Optifine's messing with the color. I think because I don't remember it being that color. And I had to disable um, a bunch of settings in Pixelmon. Uh, disabled legendaries, disabled um, where they fight you automatically because that gets annoying. And disabled underground spawns because we don't need to go in caves. So the only things that will spawn is uh, one flying one. Uh, I think I have it set to 50 on land and 30 in the water. So uh, it should should help with the frame rate, I thought. Because... We don't need them to be underground. 
Okay, seeking. We're just gonna train a lot of seekings. I'm gonna check the time right now. I felt like I was talking for where, uh, forever, for a while. Um, yeah, it says seeking. Okay, super effective. Po Pixelmon at seeking that name fainted. So, yeah, it's just a that's just a minor minor glitch. It still tells you the name of it, so it's no big deal. Does it still have? Nope, they have it where it says the name actually. So it says Kyogre. That's pretty cool. Yeah, they fixed that. That was a minor issue, but it was kind of annoying not being able to see your own Pokemon name. Um, okay. We got a Sand Shrew. We got a Drifloon up there. Drifloon. Who should we take Drifloon down with? He's Ghost Flying. Magneto would actually take him down pretty easily. But I think he. Nope, he's still here. He's still here. We got to catch him in time. It's becoming daytime. Ooh! Yeah, see, there's Drapions spawn really, really commonly, I think. I think they up their spawn rate, which is awesome. I really, really approve of that. Because they're really, really good to train them. They're one of the only ones that are extremely high leveled. Them and uh, Bisharp are really, really high leveled. That's really cool that they have them spawn in deserts now. Them and their little, their little babies, Scorpi. Yeah, that's it gives more variety cuz it used to be just gravelers, sand shrews, and magmars as and uh, of course diglets. Diglets, dug trios, gravelers, geodudes, sand shrews, sand slashes, magmar, that was about it. Some new mills occasionally, but mostly mostly the same types you would see. So that's cool that they have drapion spawn in here now at night. I approve. I approve of that. Okay. Now, what level? I think these are thir usually 30s. That one's pretty high. Let's take him out with Leviathan. Leviathan. There we go. He's on fire. He's on fire. Oops, I didn't mean to press that button. Okay. 27, 27. We gotta find some good ones to train on. We gotta find some good ones. Good. Ooh, Slowbro. Slowbro, we should take you out with Magneto. Magneto. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna train each one up to level 60. And then we're gonna... Once they're all level 60, then we'll keep going to... I say 65 should be good for at least the, to take down the first one. But to take down all Elite 4 plus the champion in a row... We probably want to aim for at least level 70 or 75. Probably 75 would be better. Because they are pretty high leveled. I forget what, I think the first one is level 72, so. Yeah. Pretty high leveled. We're, we're our frame rate, let me see, our frame rate, oh, 59, sec, 59 FPS right now. But I was going to say, it's actually doing pretty, pretty good compared to what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be, you know, lag, lag, lag everywhere. Just lag, but it's actually doing pretty good. Still surprised it went up to 108 back there. Um, hmm. There's nothing out here. There's just nothing. Look at this. No, Nothing in the water. Nothing on land. There's nothing. Absolutely nothing spawning out here. Oh, never mind. Bunch of diglets. Okay. I don't think we've been out this far. We do have the slash kill to get back. Because we have, um, what is it called? Keep inventory on. So if we get too far away, there's a fear up there. He just goes off. Going after this Sea King right now and try not to die in the water. So we gotta kill him quick. Dead. Awesome. Before we start losing health. Okay, there's a Fero. Little Swaddle. Some mill tanks up there. Some of those. Um, oh, and, and a cool in the update when you kill something that drops, stuff like Magmars or. Mareeps or mill tanks, 
it will put it directly into your inventory it won't put it on the ground so if you're playing with your friends you'll get your drops for killing they can't steal your drops which is pretty cool it's kind of it's kind of like the same thing they did to the bosses where it puts it directly into your inventory but it also tells you in chat what you got which is pretty awesome oh I caught him I caught him I didn't think I was going to be able to catch him. See? Yeah. You received a feather. Pretty awesome. I like that addition. Um, Art bucks are usually pretty high leveled, I think. Let's go with Roswell. It's hard to see the uh, the thing on the side. It's hard to see when you, you're you highlighting the right one that you want. Ooh! Ooh! Oh, we must have already got this one. Dang it. Dang it. It's one of the grottos. They have the master ball chest spawn in here. We must have already got it. Dang it. Or sometimes I've come across some that, that don't actually put the thing in there. Is this a cave back here? Or is it... Oh, it's just because it deletes the land when it gets placed. Okay. Okay. Let me check the time real quick. Got about four minutes to kill some stuff. And then we're good. There we go. Ooh, is that a ra oh, that is a huge ponyta. I thought that was a rapidash. That is, did we go in a complete circle? Oh, that's a rapidash up there. I got him with Leviathan. Leviathan's gonna take you out. Cause Mama said knock you out. Come on, go me a rapidash. Forty-three, level forty-three. That's what you're gonna be. Holy crap! I didn't even see it. You got, you guys saw that, right? I, I just literally said what level it was going to be, and I was right. I think I've tried that like four times before, so fifth time's a charm. But holy crap, I can't believe I was right on that. Let's try this again. Let's f find something else. Let's guess what level it's at. That one's going to be 32, that ponyta right there. It's 32. 11. I was way off. Well, it was just a fluke. Dang it. That was pretty cool, though. We were able to do that. Get the exact... Well, I had a 1% chance of getting it right, basically. Because they can only go up to 100. Okay. There's a Magmar. Those are pretty high level. There's another Ponyta. Magmar is pretty high level, I think. I think... Ooh, Trainer. Let's go to the Trainer, because... I think these are the guys that have like level 40s and 50s. And then we'll call, ooh, is that a. What is that up there? What is that? It's a Machop. Dang it. I thought it was a Larvitar. I was like, holy crap, I didn't know he was in here. Nope. It was not. Okay. Really wish it stopped being on fire. Oh, he only had one Pokemon. Let's. Can we put him out? So he's not on fire anymore? There you go, he's not on fire anymore. And we can ride him. So let's just ride him on the desert. Makes sense. Okay, here we go. He's only level 27, but we're going to take him out. Surf. You're dead. I got some blaze powder. And let's put him right there. Let's just keep riding him on line. On land. On line on land. That's what I meant. Here's another. He, he goes pretty pretty dang fast on land, actually. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, let's fight you. Fight you until you're dead. You just died. And let's fight you. Ooh, you were some good XP. Came erupt. Because you guys go down one hit. Okay. Let's keep riding them. I think we can find... I think um, dungeons still spawn, like spider dungeons and stuff. So I think we can still find them. I think this is one, if we want to try to get some other items. I think Pixelmon items can spawn in the dungeons. This is a dungeon, I'm pretty sure. We just gotta find out. Yep, this is a dungeon. We gotta find out where it's at. Where's it at? This way? Because I was, I was playing a survival world and I had the spiders creep up on me 
and I thought with Pixelmon it disabled all the mobs, but it disables their normal spawns. They still spawn with spawners. So we gotta be careful. Actually, we're in peaceful. That's right. We don't have to be careful because it can't do anything. It was a skeleton spawner. Oop, there's a chest. Whoa. There's our lag spike that I've been looking for. Okay. What's going to be in here? Oh, iron ingots and gunpowder. We can actually sell that. String, we can sell that. Can't sell those, but uh, awesome. So let's do that. And I'm betting the other one's this way. Let me check the time real quick. Yeah. Well, I'll find this other chest and then we'll call it an episode. Call it a day. Um, I'm pretty sure this that'd be great if this was one of those uh those really, really rare ones that you can sometimes find that have three chests. I've only found I think two in all my time playing Minecraft, I've ever found two that have three chests. And I've found like probably 30 or 40 of them that have no chests in them. That's always fun. Okay. Okay, let's just take out this layer. Just going around the perimeter. I think that might have been the only chest. Sad as it, it is. Man, gotten so much sand. Wish we could sell sand for something. Nope, no chest there. Chest over here? Nope. And we reach this other wall. Oh, here's the other chest. And it's becoming nighttime. What's in here? Gunpowder? We can sell that. Uh, another music disc. Can't sell any of these things, but they're nice to have just for the heck of it. I don't think this is going to have three chests. I think it's just two chests, one, but I'm going to keep going all the way this way. See if it did have... Nope, it didn't. And here's... This, was this just a cave? Yeah, it was a cave. It was an actual cave. Okay. So we got to watch out for those in this desert. I think that's the first one I've found on this series. Got to watch out for those because we can actually sell the stuff that's in them. Most of it. Okay. Well, guys, I hope you liked the video. And if you did, please leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. I'm really excited to get back into it. And I'll see you guys. Hey, Arthur. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.